a sit stay with Stacy Slade, and I'm here with my seven and a half week old puppies. Uh, we've got these are Deuce and Chase's puppies. Super excited about them, and uh, wanted to share what you should have to bring your puppy home. What equipment do you need? I'm sure I'll miss a few things that people have found over the years are really good. I'm going to cover the basics uh, that I think you need, and. First is a leash and a collar. I swear by Mezami. I'll put the, the uh, website. So won't, I'll put the link in the comments and I'll put the, the brand below so you can see. Uh, this is a limited slip collar, so it can't choke the dog. It has a tad bit of a correction, um, but they're really safe. They don't break the coat, which is something that's important to me. Come here, guys. And um, then the leash and collar, they match. They, she has like five million colors. They're super soft in your hands. She has different lengths of leashes. There's a four foot leash, there's a six foot leash. There is a buckle collar. I like the limited slip collar. There's kennel leads that are easy to use as well. Uh, check out these, my favorite. All my dogs wear them. They all have a different color. All the puppies are wearing puppy collars with the co their collar on, color on them. What's important too is, come here guys. We've got some fun treats going on here. Come here guys and we're playing we have our red barn red, uh white knuckle bones we have bully sticks the 12 inch bully sticks that they're all playing with it's really important that you have uh age appropriate toys the bully sticks they can't they can't get these stuck they're 12 inches that was 12 inches um and they're safe for them to play with and i take them away before they get down to the little nub i think that's super important come here guys and they're sharing these, they're starting to get a little bit like, it's my toy. Um, I also think uh, getting a 42 inch wire crate is super important in your house. It should, my, my suggestion is the dog should sleep where you are if it's cool enough. Get a fan for the crate. Uh, 42 inch crates, they fit um, every dog I've had. Sometimes if I've had a larger male, I get the 46, but generally the 42 is gonna fit everybody. Um, Get a crate for your car, uh, usually a plastic crate, even though they're a little bit warmer for the dogs, they're safe. I have a metal crate in my car that my dogs uh, travel in, so it's, about, it's the safest way for a dog to travel in a car. Uh, if you're in an accident, they don't get thrown and they stay confined. You can get them out, they can stay in, they don't get catapulted from the car. It's just the safest way to drive a dog. Uh, there are some other options, uh, like uh, crumple, crumple resistant zone, um, kind of uh, metal contraption that you can put in your car. Um, there's some different options, so take a look into that. It's good just to research it. Um, in my crates, I use a Primo Pad. It's the, that's the actual name of the website, is primopad.com. Um, and it's a great, uh, great cool mat. The plastic, bed, uh, the plastic um, tray in a wire crate can sometimes be loud and scary to a dog, so I use the Primo Pad, it mutes. The sound, it's comfortable, it's cool, uh, it's easy to clean up, it's fairly indestructible. Um, I love those, so in all my crates. Um, food, you should be able to get a couple days of food from your breeder that they've been feeding the puppy. You do not want to switch their food right away when the puppy comes home. It's a re recipe for disaster. Um, and you, I'm gonna move these guys back. Ooh, moving. Um, and, you also want to make sure you know a little bit about how much the puppy's getting. Sometimes it's hard for breeders because they're feeding all the puppies together. Generally, I would start with a cup three times a day, move down if they're not eating at all, um, but definitely give three meals a day. It's easier for training because they're food motivated and their stomach knows when to expect each meal. Um, along the food, get a food bowl, a uh, water bowl and get uh, I use buckets for outside so we have lots of water so I'm gonna grab Ruckus here he's got two different treats that he's hoarding mister come here buddy can't hoard all the treats and leave your litter mates to have one and you have three puppies don't count by the way so always have extra <laughs> um, so I have buckets and then with the food I get probiotics talk to your vet about the best probiotic to use super important for their GI tract health with it. The immune system is predicated from the GI tract. So if you have a healthy gut, you can have a healthy dog. Um, I get pumpkin and plain yogurt for if the tummy does get upset, 
A lot of Bernese Mountain Dogs uh, do get a little bit of GI upset, and so having um, having pumpkin, having probiotics, having a food, generally um, you can try alleviating chicken. Some dogs don't react to chicken more so than any other protein. Um, and making sure the dog's not eating anything they shouldn't, uh, like poop or bark or rocks or anything like that would be really important. I usually have some type of joint supplement, greenlit muscle um, is what I use. Uh, I also do fish oil. I do vitamin C is really important to give your puppies. Uh, it helps for, for normal bone growth. Um, back to food, I feed a puppy food for a few months and then I switch over to adult food. It's really important the puppy food is formulated for large breed, that way they'll grow evenly. These guys need to grow slow, you don't want a fat dog, you want a very lean dog. They don't want a lot of extra weight on their joints. Um, get appropriate toys for puppies, I've got t tons of appropriate toys. These are always fun, um, water bottles, this is a kefir bottle, but um, get water bottles super cheap and plastic they love to crunch it and love to play with them um, and making sure that you have treats I have string cheese I use for these guys as long as I use for the adults they get used to that I also have other little treats um, that I use for puppies and in moderation I don't give them a ton of anything and um, lots of toys lots of chews the red barn white knuckle bones are so important I put these in the crates with them um, to make sure that they have something to chew on because chewing is what these guys need to do right now um, and these are safe to leave with them uh, safe -er. anything you give your dog to chew has a risk so it so do do understand that but it's so important these dogs chew so I am supervising I always make sure that they're safe and they have what they need to get that chewing uh, need out and it also keeps their teeth healthy it's really important that they're chewing around five and six months old um, a lot of things because they're teething and that helps get the teeth out so the new teeth the adult teeth can grow in um, uh, X pens and baby gates I have lots of X pens as you can see there's one behind me so puppies aren't getting their heads stuck in my deck um, I have lots of X pens to keep dogs in places out of places um, away from things so you know, make sure you, I've got baby gates for different doors so those are a must for containment and for using with the dogs um, and then I also make sure I have obedient obedience classes lined up all of my puppies go to homes where they do obedience classes through a year of the dog's life because that brain changes these puppies are constantly changing and what they understood something to be at eight weeks old isn't necessarily the same look and feel as six months as a year. You've got to keep up the training. You've got to keep up your training sessions with the puppies um, because when they get adolescence, they start to kind of get that stubborn streak and you've got to have a good foundation of obedience to get through that well and positively with your puppy. Um, so I also make sure I have socialization set up. I have safe and friendly dogs that they can meet that I know are good with puppies. Um, I have people, kids, men, women, all, all shapes and sizes, all different looks and feels. Um, same with the dogs. So these guys have, they're in a window where the whole world they're learning is a positive place. So everything that they meet, making it safe, is, becomes a positive experience. Come here guys, come come. And so they're all hiding over there in the corner with their, with their treats. Uh, so making sure that things are a, a very positive experience. Go different uh, things to walk on. I have wobble boards. So these, there's a couple here. There's one big one here that they, they walk all on. They know that, that they get very confident with, the, with things being unstable underneath their feet. Different um, textures that they walk on I put down an X pen so they walk on that and chicken wire and things like that that won't you know obviously safe um, and so they meet people and they eat dogs they go to different places they see airplanes they see boats um, all different things they get to go to the vet so that's a positive lots we'll bring lots of treats to the vet um, for their first visit and we also um, get grooming supplies so you've seen my grooming videos refer to them as puppies need to learn that these are positive Every week, trim toenails, trim the tips off. You can use a grinder if that's more uh, appealing to you. I love these guys, they're little and sharp. I have a pin brush and I have a rake. Now, the rake is way too aggressive. Come here guys, come come. Come here buddy. 
So the rake is a little too aggressive for these guys, but what I can do is just run it down them so they get used to it. Good poppy! Very light, very barely touching the skin. See his tail? He's like, ooh, that feels different. I'm not going hard, but he's getting used to it, and he knows it's safe. And same with the brush. We brush lightly, and we give treats when we do it. And so it becomes positive. It becomes something that they're used to. Don't stop doing these. You have to continue or else they become something they don't know how to do. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. Got to go corral all the treats again. Come here, guys. Oh, puppies. Come on. Come on. Come on. So these are the things you need to get for your puppy. I'm sure I missed a few, but enjoy your puppy. Get all the treats. Get all the toys and uh, make sure you have lots of love and fun with your puppy while you have it because they aren't puppies long so enjoy your puppy holler if you have questions i'm sure i forgot a few things but those are the big uh, the big ones and uh, don't forget to click on tagline goods this is one of our shirts and we have all breed specific shirts we have training we have dog in general shirts and uh, would love your support for tagline goods happy training